welcome everyone welcome to SDN tech forum in this video I'm going to show you uh, SD AVC dashboard and this is going to be the final video of this series so in first video we discuss about was uh, SD AVC architecture second video uh, I shown you how to install uh, it on CSR 1 KV now it's time to access the GUI and uh, uh, do some fun stuff so type in your controller IP address with 8443 so this is the host 31 is a host where your um, network services are installed since I'm on VPN it may take a bit of time depending on like where you are And once you're presented with the dashboard, uh, use the uh, device credentials as your user login username and password. So there is no separate username and password by default, but you can create user. So <clears throat> this is the same credential I use to log into my devices. Now you'll be presented with the SDAVC dashboard. Meanwhile, while it's uh, all right, let let it come. I want to show you how many devices you are seeing in the dashboard, and then we will go ahead and add one device um, to SDAVC. Uh, so, so you can see that I have two. It has discovered two devices. Out of this, one is throwing error uh, uh, for forty three thirty one dash one uh, basically i turn off the sdavc configuration for demonstration purpose so now let me go back and put the uh, sdavc configuration on the device and in my architecture video I have shown you what command line will go into this a very few commands like AVC SD service uh, define your segment segment is an arbitrary uh, name for the group of devices and then point it to your controller in my case 31 is my controller and I'm defining source interface as gigi zero all right um, so SD AVC configuration pasted and um, we will look for the connectivity but before we look for the connectivity, I, what I want to show you is uh, the license. So SD AVC, uh, AVC SD service command is available only if you have right license. So if you are running IP based services, uh, uh, this feature is not available. So you need to have Apex license for minimum. So you can see that I, I have installed advanced uh, an application license. This is the license you need. I'm running in the eval mode. That means I have just accepted the EULA and that will be uh, valid for like 90 days. Eval period, you can see it's 90 days. Show run my license. So if you don't have license, you can still say boot this and uh, accept EULA user license. So the feature will be available for 90 days. Otherwise you won't uh, see the uh, AVC SD service uh, command line. All right. Now let's see if I am connected to uh, my dashboard. I can check it uh, in dashboard itself, or maybe I can check uh, on router. So for that, so the connectivity info connectivity. Or let me do a question mark. Okay. So what you should see is status as connected. That means it is successfully talking to ASD AVC uh, dashboard. Uh, if you don't have the port uh, allowed, it, it uses certain ports. If you don't have those ports allowed, then probably it may fail. So look for the Cisco documentation to see what port number you need to allow. And now let's go back to the device itself. Uh, sorry, SD AVC dashboard. Yeah, I can see still showing one error 
maybe I need to refresh and you should see both the devices talking to SDABC. This is a bit slow. Um, apologies for that. It's a little bit slow here. Meanwhile, let me pull uh, the few knobs what we are going to sh see on the dashboard. So once you log in, uh, this is the widget you are going to see on dashboard. So it will show you all devices. That means all the devices which are discovered by SDAVC. Time range, you can see time range data of two hour, four hour or 24 hour. And then the classification score. The classification score that means how many applications uh, SDAVC is able to recognize. So a high classification score is good. Unclassified traffic, that means any custom traffic or any port, uh, server client traffic based on the custom port, which is not recognized, uh, that will be part of unclassified traffic. First packet classification is again, how quickly you are able to classify packet. Total uses, total bandwidth used by different application. SDAVC coverage ratio, again, um, depend on classification score. So how many, uh, flows you can uh, recognize and what is their coverage ratio so a, a high coverage ratio is good a symmetric index so as i mentioned in my video uh, sdavc is instrumental in identifying asymmetric uh, uh, flows so a uh, high uh, it range on 0 to 10 uh, 10 is being highest asymmetry and asymmetry is uh, i won't say it's a bad thing but it's not really a good thing as well timeline and these are the few things you are going to see. So let's go back to uh, dashboard itself and I'm going to show you how it looks like. So still th throwing a bit of error, uh, but this will eventually, uh, this is not a fatal error. This is just a warning. Okay. So you can, uh, this will get fixed in some time, but at least we are talking to that and you can see that my new device is there with the segment uh, and the device IP address. It has detected the iOS version and now you can see per device view or uh, so once you log into the device you will see all devices and then you are seeing some application down there uh, down here and uh, the the uses so uh, i have i don't have any uh, strong flow going on it's just a management or control kind of traffic uh, some bgp traffic so you can see that these are identified and what is uh, the bandwidth they are consuming so yeah, it's shown here as a graph. But if I happen to start any flow, uh, you will see those flows here. Uh, you can drill down as a classification score or uh, basically you can change the view and it will show you in the timeline. Uh, again, timeline wise, two hours is the default, but you can always go back to 12 hour, 24 hour or 48 hours. Um, another good thing is to check is that uh, install protocol pack is 41 so it has recognized the protocol pack on device itself and the device protocol pack today uh, right now is 41 i'll show you how you can administrator uh, your protocol pack centrally so the next tab is protocol pack we go to protocol pack and you can see that 41 41 not updated uh, because we have not used SDAVC to update that uh, and we can do that centrally here. So go back to serviceability. Serviceability is kind of like admin uh, task. So you can click on system. It is going to show you the system uh, health check. So basically how much memory you have, how much disk, and if everything is looking good. By default, you can see these two DNS IP address and it uh, will looks familiar to you. So by default, uh, SDAVC uses open DNS uh, or uh, Cisco umbrella DNS. Let's go back uh, to serviceability. Uh, you can download all your debugs, SDAVC message capture, uh, like a TCP dump you can run, and then application rule. This is important. So based on the classification, it start 
creating the rule so basically you can see that IP port and VRF and based on application and the TCP port number it generate the rule looking at the traffic uh, uh, available now let's come back and I'll show you how to administrate uh, administratively deploy protocol pack you are in this page click on manage and deploy and you can actually download from CCO or you can uh, download uh, install it from a local so import from file system or you can uh, uh, download from Cisco if you have valid uh, licensing so for me this is the latest pack uh, based on my release so always check Cisco documentation what protocol pack you can install and I'm going to import that so the protocol pack is imported and you, where you want to deploy you want to deploy a device segment of RTPSDA and let's search for device I will go ahead and search for device So it's not compatible. Let's say is it not compatible? Um, I have to look for the doc uh, documentation. So basically, if you have if you have downloaded the right protocol pack, looks like I. Okay, yeah, I know why it is saying that. Let me tell you, uh, my protocol pack is sixteen nine. If you see here, but my devices are running sixteen eleven. So I have to download the right protocol pack for 16.11 and then the, you can pick your device and then the next step is choose deploy time. You can deploy immediately or you can deploy uh, in later stages and then finally you hit on deploy and it will go ahead and up, update the deployment. So sorry about that. I cannot uh, deploy right now uh, but I will probably cover it in another video, a very quick video. Connector, this is the piece I would like to show you. So based on now direct uh, uh, cloud SaaS applications and all those things, you can create cloud connectors to your cloud uh, SaaS applications like Microsoft uh, 365 and all those uh, uh, based on your client ID and all those things. And then you can generate, uh, you can download the application rules from the cloud SaaS provider. And, and, deploy, and push it to your network infrastructure dynamically so very useful uh, feature as the AVC you can monitor all your uh, devices look at give you a detailed application visibility over time and uh, you can centrally manage them so you see that my traffic is started uh, piling up here and uh, good to go thank you